Hi guys, I'm back. It's Jess from Beauty and Blueprints. Today I'm bringing you another tutorial and this one is going to be on three different cat toys. So here are the materials that you're going to need. You're going to need some string, scissors, dowel, ribbon, anywhere. I got this from a pack of washcloths. Um, probably some pliers so you don't want to get burned with the hot glue, which is here, hot glue gun, felt, or any kind of fabric. Um, here are how my dowels look. I just wanted to show you the package. I'm going to need three. Okay. You're going to need scissors. I don't know if I said that already. Oh, gosh. Um, feathers and probably some little pom-poms. So I'm going to get started with my first one, which is the least complicated. This one should be the easiest. So it is going to be using the felt. What you're going to want to do is cut pretty thick strips of your felt, but you don't want to cut all the way. And you should have a Hawaiian skirt. Woohoo! Okay, then you're going to take your string and cut the length that you want. So what you're going to want to do is take your string and wrap it around your dowel. Probably not going to be able to see this. Once you wrap it around one way, you turn it around and wrap it around again. Slide it down. Okay. You're going to take a piece of your ribbon and cut it off. This is where your hot glue comes into play. You want to drown that ribbon in hot glue. Make sure that this string is going that way, the long piece. which I kind of do. I'm going to just kind of split these up. Some of them.
Okay guys, my camera says that I am at 29 minutes and 52 seconds. So to make these three toys right here, it took me 30 minutes. This one being the shortest and easiest second on difficulty level. And this one being the most complicated. Now I'm going to go test my toys with my cats. I'm going to wake them up from their naps and yeah, we're going to see how they like them, okay? She's like the lazier cat. Okay. Third one. This cat right here, she is a tugger. She likes to tug on all the toys she has. Anyway guys, as you can see they like them. <laughs> they like them and we'll get a lot of use out of them. And I love wand toys the most because they are super interactive. You have to play with your animal directly. It's not like, you know, you're just throwing a ball down the hallway and you watch them go. Because my cats really rely on me to play with them. So that's why I make a lot of wand toys for them. And uh, if you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment, and let me know what else you want to see. Bye! I'm super distracted by this cat right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, bye.